Welcome to the channel everybody and thank you for joining me today. We are playing Terraria. This is the Labor of Love update, episode number 27. Let's get into it. Uh, today I have several things planned for us. Number one is I have finally fished up that pesky demon conch. It took forever. I had to spend a lot of time down there in the hot lava, but I managed to fish, it, fish that up. So we're going to step over here to our little uh, crafting station and we are going to craft up the shell phone displays everything right click to toggle destination and if you listen closely you can hear something about your car's warranty very nice there it is the ultimate we have uh, finally finished it let's set this i'm gonna set it right now just to spawn because that's usually where i use it for but uh, it's really nice to have that free space now i don't have to carry around the shell you know, in the inventory. So our, our inventory is looking bigger already. Uh, it's much clearer here. Uh, so the next item I have on the agenda is to summon the torch boss. I don't know, maybe some of you haven't heard of this. It's kind of just a little funny mini boss, you know, hidden type thing that uh, the game has. So we're going to go take care of that. I think the best place is probably the jungle. I've got a whole bunch of torches already scattered over here. So I want to place a bunch more. If you place a hundred torches then the vent will spawn. I believe it has to be underground, too. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm just going to start laying down a whole mess of torches in this general vicinity, and we'll see if we can't get this thing to spawn without me getting killed in the meantime. Oh, there it is. Okay, you can tell the, uh, the light changes. We just have to avoid dying, basically, until all the torches stop shooting at us. See all these little fiery projectiles are not arrows they are actually the torches coming off the wall at us to be honest if you're not uh, fully geared out with the beetle armor i might not suggest doing this in the jungle <laughs> but we're gonna be okay i think we're gonna pass this and what this opens up it doesn't reward necessarily any loot but it does open up a neat little ability which we'll get to once we clear it here Almost done. Looks like most of the torches are gone. Oh, last one right there. Awesome. Okay, lights come back on. And let's run back home real quick. Yes, okay, cool. We acquired the Torch God's Favor here. This little consumable unlocks an ability toggle to the left of the inventory over here. And that is when enabled, normal torches change according to your biome. So we have a stack of normal torches. And now, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Now every time we go to a different biome and we set down a torch, it will uh, lay itself down according to that, what biome it's in. So let's turn that on. That's a handy little tool. Because um, I believe you might get a, a small luck bonus if you're in the biome with the proper torch as well, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But uh, in addition, we got a nice piece of pizza. Wow. I imagine we just got that off one of the jungle creatures, but that's handy. All right. Um, ooh, we'll keep the mimic banner. That's going to be fairly uh, unique. The gladiator leggings, you know what I'm going to do with those? I've got a few statues up here, or uh, mannequins, I should say, that still need, like, leg pieces and whatnot. And I think those red ones go nicely with the funny hat. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's move on. So we got the, uh, um, the torch god all finished now the next thing we need to do is head over to the jungle i've got a brand new npc here i worked on a special little room over here in the jungle here it is it's the mushroom uh, and it's uh got a very small little biome i tried to restrict it i didn't want to get too crazy with the mushroom but uh it worked it's just enough to get this guy here so let's do a little shopping perfect this is exactly what i want I want a bunch of this dark blue. Okay. I'm going to keep that there. Uh, we'll also buy some of this other stuff. I'll buy him a second painting. There you go, buddy. And what else does he have? I think he's got some other things that we want. Um, yeah, we want the auto hammer for sure. Uh, these weapons, I don't 
think I'm gonna buy them. I was the only reason I would is if I want to hang them on the walls. Um, they're fairly expensive, but uh, we'll hold off on that now. I will buy this. Where's the baby truffle? There he is. <laughs> Looks just like his papa. Oh. All right, we get rid of him. Hmm. Okay. Anything else that I want? I don't think so. Dude, no, no. Okay. So that's good. Let's, um, I'm just going to drop these off in our, uh, safe real quick. So we don't have to head home and we are going to go out into the jungle. We're going to drop down below us here. Let me put this away. And we are going to convert a large portion of the jungle into a mushroom biome. And I have a specific reason for doing that, obviously. Whoops. It is so that we can acquire more of uh, some of the Duke Fishron bait. We need some of those uh, glowing. They're not the enchanted night crawlers. Can't remember what they're called, but we'll we'll find some. So what's a good spot to do this? Actually, it's probably over here would be better where we haven't really explored, but it's because we go down here, we've already, well, yeah, we've already cleared this out. So let me go back up and we'll head over to the right a little bit, probably preferable. All right. And I don't see myself making any, uh, shroomite um in order to like wear the gear set we might make the gear set just so we can put it on a mannequin but i'm gonna stick with melee for this run probably right up into the end uh but you know we're gonna need it for the the drill mount i can't remember what that thing's called someone reminded me in the comments and i've already forgotten what it's called i'll remember it eventually all right this looks like a good place so let's drop down where i've already got a tunnel here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start build, digging horizontally here. Let's pop a potion or two. Ba, ba, ba. I guess I'll do a spelunker in addition to a mining potion. Might as well. Alright, I was just thinking, should I drink all the potions? But now nah, we'll just take the two. That's good enough. Oh, I almost forgot one of the most important things. We need the cleaninator. Cleaninator. Not sure what it's how it's pronounced, but oh, we'll stick that right here. So now we can. Hopefully, that was going to say. Hopefully, convert some of this area into uh, mushrooms. There we go. Oh, a couple chests right by each other. Of course, we'll loot all this stuff, get all the chests. Clear those out. But uh, most importantly, we're here to... Right now, I'm just trying to set up the area for collecting the bait. I don't know if we'll encounter... We probably we might encounter one or two of the worms. But um, I'm definitely going to be trying to catch them as we, get, as we see them. But uh, one of the most effective things, strategies for me at least, is these long horizontal tunnels like this. And of course, as you go, convert, convert yourself over. And don't worry about losing parts of your jungle. It's no big deal, you know. Once you've explored it and got all the chlorinite bars you need, it's not really that important. Plus, you could clean it if you really wanted to and convert it back. All right. more mushroom biome the more chance you're going to have of spawning this little worm and let me tell you it's been a while since i fought duke fish on and i'm going to need every every opportunity i can get to beat this sucker i have a feeling i'm gonna have to fight him multiple times just before i get him down we'll see though i'm going to try and um, prepare myself as best as possible i'm going to read you know probably watch a video on him on the fight and of course i'll have many many of the little worm baits as many as I can get okay that's good let's bring out some more of our mushroom stuff here 
See, it won't spread to this newly dug ground that I've just dug on. It needs to actually be spread onto the jungle grass itself, but it will spread. So if we come back here, you know, in a couple days in game time, this will be, there will be a lot more mushroom surface area here for this little, this little worm to spawn. As long as we make sure there's a connecting piece here. So as long as the, uh, the pathway connects with some pre-existing mushroom, it'll spread just like an infection. Yeah, we, ooh, we can convert this whole tunnel right here. Very nice. And as you can see, I do have my net in my hotbar. I've got it up here at number four. So just in case, I'm ready to go. I think there are some techniques like, um, I think you can use an invisibility potion and it won't see you. I might be wrong about that, but uh, it's worth trying and I'm sure I've got a ton of invisibility potions considering that's something I've never used, but uh, I didn't bring any. Um, maybe we will try that once I get everything set up here, you know, get, get an extensive mushroom biome going. We'll come back with some potions. We'll try different methods, possibly. Whatever gives us the edge, I'm willing to try it. Right, this looks like another good spot to spread the biome. There you go. Looking good. And it's not even that much. You know, it's just a tiny fraction of the overall jungle, so it seems like a lot, but it's really not. Actually a little bit surprised we haven't seen the worm yet, but uh, still early. Still very early. Get out of my way, man-eater. Just of course make sure not to get yourself killed while you're doing this. There's just a ton of life fruit everywhere. Ah, see, now this is why I like to do those horizontal rows, you know, even beforehand. This is perfect here. We can convert this whole thing. See how that is? That's exactly what we want. All this surface area for the worm to spawn, perfect. Connect these up. Like I'll probably come down, let's add a third layer here. Why not? In addition to the worm, you're gonna get a whole bunch of mushrooms too. Which do come in handy, they definitely do. Yeah, and if you, once you do start to actively hunt for the worm, just take the same kind of strategy as when you're trying to spawn any other enemy. Get yourself some battle potions, some water candles, spread them throughout this whole area. Yeah, yes, you'll have to defeat a bunch of enemies, but it's also going to increase the rate at which your worm spawns. Also, it's probably a good idea to turn off your minions. You know, you don't want them to accidentally kill the worm or at least alert it. Because if you even go near it, it runs away from you. So you need to be you need to take every precaution you can. And I'm just gonna spend a little bit more time doing this. Don't worry, it's not gonna be the whole episode. <laughs> but uh, I will probably spend a bit more time off camera too, uh, preparing it here, and uh, we'll do some active hunting on you know. Maybe next episode, maybe the end of this episode. We'll see how things go. Got a few other little things planned for today. I definitely, I was, I've got some great comments from you guys, suggestions, tips, items I should be crafting. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to all of it. I've started a list. I write down everything you guys recommend. So keep those comments coming. And uh, right now I'm going to uh, work on replacing, or after we finish this little task, work on replacing the warding shield of Cthulhu with the uh, ninja gear. One of the commenters suggested I replace that with ninja gear because it's superior. It gives us a chance to dodge in addition to having a little dash on it. So we need to head to the, uh, uh, what's it called? I don't keep wanting to say the temple, but it's the dungeon. We want to head over there and do a little bit of farming. I'm just going to have to post up and hopefully kill a few ninjas. And that place is very dangerous. But there is a lot of loot we can get, so. 
That's that's a good thing. All right. Well, so far so good. I think we're at this point. You guys see what I'm going for. You understand the process, and maybe we can see a worm. I don't know. The, it's still. This is actually still a pretty small area, so I need to, like I said, need to come back and make this bigger. But maybe we'll get lucky and we'll just see one. I can show you guys. For anybody who's not seen it, I don't see him now. He looks different than a normal worm, of course. He's like blue and he glows just like everything else. Oh, there he is, right there. He just fell down. He's in this crowd. All right, let me see if I can zoom in on him. See him? He's right there. Hmm. I wonder if we can kill these enemies without disturbing him. I think we can. Okay. I'm gonna turn off my UFOs. Get my wait, where'd he go? Dang it. Did he just disappear? I don't even see him. Oh darn it, we lost him. <laughs> well, there he was. You guys got to get a look at, you know, the little worm. I hope you did. It's kinda of hard to see because there were several other enemies nearby, but um, we didn't catch him. Just goes to show you how tricky they are. I didn't see what happened. He probably fell through the floor while I wasn't looking. I was looking at my hot bar, but um, I don't see see any others just now. All right, we'll head home. We'll come back and uh, play around in the mushroom biome later. Some goodies, put all that away. Oh, okay, so the climbing claws. That's not something we need. No, we already have the Armored Tiger Climbing Claw and the Precise Tabby. So I believe, I think, let me double check with the guide. I think all we need is the Black Belt. Uh, yeah, the Black Belt is all I need now to craft the Master Ninja Gear. Bada bing, bada boom. So I'm going to leave that in here so we don't have to take up the extra space. Uh, oop, put that away. All right, let's head on over to uh, to the dungeon. Now, let me see. Do we have a... Yeah, I've got a portal set up there. I forgot. I believe it is this one. Yes, it is. All right, wonderful. So I should probably resummon my peoples. Hello there, Mr. Alien. Oh, Jesus. Give me a second here before I start getting murdered. Okay. It's, uh, it's a good farm, you know, it's got a lot of surface area down below for enemies to spawn and stuff. And most, you know, most of the enemies don't get stuck, but it's still very dangerous around here. Do not mess around. Pretty much can't stay still. Like if I have to get in my inventory and sort stuff out, I need to, like, go home to do it. That is primarily the reason, oh, Jesus. Why I set up this teleporter like this. I did take the time, you know, to bring the wires all the way across the world. You know, it goes all the way from here. Do, do, do. I use the sky bridge for it too, so it's very handy, but uh, it's worth it. And I do have my water candle. Right now I'm currently out of battle potions, which kind of sucks. Um, I think the missing ingredient is death weed, but you know what? I know I actually have some of that. Maybe I can make a few, because that will actually help us. Uh, doo -doo, we just have to make sure to survive in there without losing the potion buff. Uh, what am I looking for here? Herbs and seeds. Okay. Battle potions. Ooh, we can make the luck potion. That might be worth it, actually. Okay, where's the battle? There it is. Yeah, we can make some. See, I was just missing death weed because that's so hard for me to get. But um, I did find some. Oh, I got 43. Been collecting a bunch. All right, perfect. That's good enough. Death weed is an important ingredient in several powerful potions. But um, I think we're going to put away our spelunker and our mining potion now. Don't need them. And we will just go with luck and battle. All right, let's head back over there. A 
Our good old uh, summoning minions have been here the whole time. Fighting away. Alright, beautiful. I guess we'll just, yeah, we'll just pop all the potions. Might as well. Like I said, this is a challenging area here. Um, I guess, guys, I'll... Ooh, there's the paladin. Oh, gosh. I was going to say, I could cut this out and just, you know, keep farming here until I finally get the tabby gear. We've only got, you know, ten minutes or so left with the episode, but maybe you guys would enjoy seeing a little bit of... Uh, farming action here. I usually cut it out, but maybe we'll stick with it for the rest of the episode this time. This is, like I said, this is not really a farm so much as it is just like a constant uh, battle <laughs> where I actually have like a teleporter set up. That's it. Farm employs, uh, implies like a leisurely laid back kind of setting, I think, and this is definitely not that. Uh, but it is fun. Oh, oh. Yeah, there's still a few enemies in here that can literally kill you in like three or four hits. Now this is a little bit of a problem area down here. Sometimes the enemies will collect down in this area. I just noticed this uh, altar right here. Break that. All right, let me sit up here. Did I take the battle potion? Yeah, I guess I did. All right. Seems a little too quiet. Center, we got a pa uh, battle potion. I do show that there's a paladin nearby. Is he below us? Yeah, he is. Okay. I found as long as you can keep him like under constant fire, he doesn't he doesn't pose too much of a threat. But you know what sucks is I don't think we've seen a single ninja yet. I certainly haven't picked up the item I need yet. Oh, 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 Christ. I'm gonna take the paladin on toe to toe. Let's go, man. I got you. Maybe we have seen some ninjas. I just haven't been paying attention, but. A lot of gold here, folks. Let's stack that off. Almost a full platinum right there. I want to get these banners up if possible. No, we don't need that one. We've got two of those already. Another freaking paladin. <laughs> Things are spawning like crazy. I don't know the full loot table for the paladin. I don't think it's extremely extensive or anything, but it'd be kind of cool if we got a rare, rare item or something. Rare drop, maybe. Who knows? You can always hope. We do have the luck potion going. Oops, didn't mean to do that. No worries. Make sure there's no enemies stuck anywhere. It's one thing you don't want is a whole bunch of enemies to be spawning in like some little pocket where they're trapped because then it'll basically reduce your spawn rate overall. That guy just ran away. See that over there? We don't want enemies like stuck like that. What are you doing, man? Get over here. Get over here and die. Ideally, you would dig out this whole area and just have like an empty spot, you know, where people just fall in from wherever spawn in on the ground below you but I'm not bother I'm not gonna bother with that right now this is good enough oh look we got the tabby oh we got two black belts already well all right our farming time is done guys <laughs> that was that luck potion I bet you anything having that thing I guarantee that's what really did it for us. All right, let's uh, let's go home. Don't really need anything here from from this place just now. It's a tactical skeleton. Let's take him out. Okay, just dropped his helmet. All right, let's go home. Upgrade our gear one more time. Yes, thank you so much for the suggestion. Okay, so stack a bunch of that off. Pick up all these bombs. I've got so many bomb statues. Woohoo. And take that. 
Good, good, good. Still collecting prismatic lace wings. We haven't fought that boss yet. We will, don't worry. Um, Empress of Light. Okay, there it is. Master Ninja Gear. And we are definitely going to go down there and get full warding on that stuff. Let me sell off this junk and I'll be right back. Alright guys, well I had an idea. I think instead of going back to the jungle and just messing around with the mushroom biome, I thought maybe we would try to fish up one of these bosses uh, that you can only get during the blood moon. So let's give this a try. I don't know if this is going to work. And he might kill us. I don't know. He's pretty low level compared to, uh, I think, what we're at. So let's just give it a try. Let's see if we can fish this guy up. Oh, there's a trout. I don't think there's any special gear you need in terms of fishing. Get out of here. I know there's a fishing pole. The, I, think, I can't remember what it's called. Something chum. Oh, bloody. Oh, okay, okay. It's a different enemy. We'll take this out. Here you. Did he drop anything? No. <laughs> Not that I saw. But now there's a fishing rod that will increase the chance of pulling up enemies during this, which is what we're doing now, but uh, we're going to be fine. I think we'll get it. The Dread Nautilus, I believe it's called, something of that nature. What do we do with the dolphins? I just killed it by accident, but um, I don't know what dolphins are, like what they have to offer us. Looks like he was trying to talk to me now. Let me know in the comments. What the heck do dolphins do? Come on, give me this dread nautilus. Blood nautilus, whatever it's called. I don't care. I just I want to fight it. Oh my god, my health! Did it disappear? I just killed another dang dolphin. I guess we killed the blood eel. Yeah, if we fish this boss up at this moment, we might die. Whoa, what was that? Ancient combat techniques? Increases defense strength of all villagers? Can Whoa, I've never seen that before. Oh, the book's knowledge empowers your villagers. Cool. Wow. So, oh, oh. What is that thing? Come down here. Or get up here, dude. Damn it. My sky bridge has failed me. Get over here. This thing's tiny, but he's got the health of like a, like a crimson mimic or something. Does he have any gear? So that's my real question. What does he drop? Oh, he dropped something. <laughs> what was that? Oh, an axe. Interesting. Cool. Yeah, I like that we're getting like different gear out of this. I mean, even if we don't get the boss right now, it's still worth it, right? Clear off some of these enemies and we'll keep fishing. Well, guys, it didn't work out, but um, we did fish up a bunch of interesting stuff. I got a new weapon. I got a new little pet slime to come back to the village and stuff. Uh, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. We are going to attempt that again in another episode, I think. Maybe next episode. We'll see. Maybe not. Uh, but I just want to come back here and collect all my goodies. All the loot and coins that I dropped after I died. But other than that, that was pretty successful. Um, we definitely need to come back, though, so we can fish up that boss for sure. I think what I'll do is I'll set up a little, a little square here. Something a little bit easier for us so we don't get constantly distracted by trying to kill enemies while the blood moon is going on. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Come back tomorrow. We're going to have a brand new episode up, and I will see you then. Have a good day.